This could be the biggest of them all. Metamask has a large user base and not too long ago, they raised $450 million in Series D funding. And currently, Metamask is valued at $7 billion. We all know that all airdrops are not equal. Some are worth little or nothing, while some are worth thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars. And in my opinion, this is one airdrop that could be worth thousands of dollars. For some months now, the max token has been hinted. In fact, it is currently confirmed that there will be a Metamax token. Let's take a look at this article. We have consensus. The owner of Metamax and Infra actually confirmed there will be a token. Look at that. Consensus Lubin confirms Metamax token in the works. Lubin is a co-founder of Consensus. This is to tell you that Metamax is actually cooking something. I also spoke about Infora a few months ago. Head straight to my channel and watch this particular video where I talked about the possibility of an Infora token. Anything is possible in this space. If Metamask token and Infora token becomes a reality and eventually a drop to its users, then that will be a mega, mega airdrop. You don't want to miss any of this. This is the right time to position yourself. And with the launch of Metamask Bridge, it is obvious there will be a Metamask token anytime soon take a look at this metamask launches bridge aggregator in that to easily move tokens across chains and almost everyone in the crypto space is speculating that using the metamask bridge could make you eligible for the metamask mega airdrop and i'm here today to show you exactly what you need to do to position yourself for this mega airdrop i'm going to leave all the links in the description so you can read them all by yourself but then there is actually a challenge especially for those using multiple wallets because metamask recently updated its privacy policy and from now on they can track your ip and wallet address that means if you're using multiple wallets they can only link one of your wallets to your ip that is a challenge right not to worry there is actually a way you can bypass this but bear in mind that this has its own risks and can deny you or deprive you the metamask mega airdrop take a look at this at this point you may need to pause this video and read this for yourself let me show you what you need to do to stop metamax from tracking your ip and wallet address let's head straight to alchemy.com here you need to sign in if you have an account otherwise sign up right away after signing up the page is going to look exactly like this so what you have to do is first come to apps and click on create app or simply head to this other side where you have plus create app click on it it will take you to the same page that this very one will also take you to so let's click on this side this is where you're going to create your own app and change to your own custom rpc enter the name of your product right here for example i'm going to say crypto prince 100k then enter a description if you have any this is just an example unique name here you have the chain and the network i already did this on ethereum and i cannot repeat it again i'm going to change the chain to polygon and the network has also changed but for you if you're doing this for the first time start with ethereum and do the same thing for all the networks available all right the next thing you have to do is to click on create app and that is it our app is created take a look right here you see i have the arbitrum mainnet the ethereum mainnet and the polygon mainnet next we have to add this custom rpc to our metamask how do you get your custom rpc you go to view key click on this it is going to take you to the next page where you'll be able to copy your custom rpc i'm going to show you what that looks like this is what is going to pop up for you next after clicking on view key go ahead and copy this very one then head straight to your metamask some of you already should be familiar with how to add a network go ahead and add the network name depending on the network you're adding ethereum arbitrum polygon or timizy here you're going to add the new rpc you just copied and add a chain you can actually get a chain id from chainlist.org add the currency symbol this actually depends on the network you are also adding and finally add the block explorer after that you hit the save button and this new rpc will be added to your metamask and with that metamask will not be able to track your ip and wallet address hope you understand that i have already done this on my ethereum so i'm going to show you right away this is my metamask wallet i have two ethereum mainnets right here the first one has the infra rpc and this second one that is thick good is the one i created a new custom rpc 
four okay so this is what yours is going to look like by the time you do this okay that is it on this very one finally let's go and interact with the metamax bridge this is what the bridge looks like and right now it is still in the beta version also note that for now you can only bridge a maximum of ten thousand dollars you have to connect your wallet somewhere here mine is already connected now when you click on this you will see other networks available we have the bnb smart chain polygon and avalanche these are the current networks at the moment then there are different tokens as well we have eat usdt usdc dialmatic and avi all these are the tokens you can bridge to any of the available networks right now and i will advise you bridge to all the networks available and generate at least two thousand dollars volume let's get started first we're going to bridge from ethereum to polygon so we search for the polygon network right here click on this here it is polygon like you already know we have four different networks ethereum bnb polygon and avalanche so we're bridging to polygon right now click on it and we select the token which is usdc so i click on it i have about 675 dollars and i'll bridge everything straight to the polygon network just like I told you, try to generate so much volume, as much as you can. I'll click on max and the bridge information has been updated. I need to approve the token and it's going to cost me about $4.37. I'll click on it. Give permission because this is the first time. Click on confirm. Transaction submitted and it's processing. Approval is granted successfully. We click on submit transaction. The total transaction fee is about $3.00. 41 cent i already paid about 88 cents to approve this transaction the first time so i click on confirm bridging in progress and it's going to take about three minutes transaction is successfully submitted and it says switch to polygon in metamax even though it's still showing bridging in progress we just click on this and switch over switch i've just received my usdc in my polygon network and it says add usdc to metamax for me i've already done that if you don't have usdc already added to your polygon network in metamax you can just do that by clicking on this yeah i've added it already so i don't have to do that anymore and you can see that i received my phones in polygon network i'll cancel this and bridging is fully completed you can see that right here when you click on this you will see the process proper from ethereum to polygon okay let's close this click on here to dismiss next we have to bridge from polygon to bnb network so we search for bnb here it is click on it now select the token you want to bridge over for me i am using the usdc so i click on it i'm also going to bridge max so i click on this the bridge information has just been updated i need to approve token the estimated time is six minutes and it's going to cost me just 0.01 cent this is the estimated return i'm going to get so i click on approve token we give permission once again because this is our first time click on confirm transaction submitted and approval is processing approval is granted now click on submit transaction scroll down and confirm it bridging in progress transaction confirmed yeah bridging is completed and it says switch to bnb smart chain in metamax so click on this and switch network now we have our usdc in bnb smart chain so from bnb smart chain we're going to bridge to the avalanche network let's select that here it is click on avalanche then select the token you want to bridge over it is usdc for me click on this i will also go for max the bridge information has just been updated estimated time is two minutes and i'm going to pay 45 cents for the gas fee I'm cool with this. I'll go ahead to approve the token. Give permission. Confirm this. Transaction submitted. Transaction also confirmed. Now click on submit transaction. Confirm it in your MetaMax. Bridging in progress. This is exactly the same process for every one of them. And the transaction is confirmed. So we wait for the bridging to be completed successfully. Awesome. Bridging completed successfully. We switch network once again click on this switch to avalanche here we go we have just switched to avalanche network i want to bridge back to the polygon network 
our search for it. Here it is. Click on it. And we go for the token as well, which is this. Now, after bridging to Avalanche, instead of you to see USDC, you're going to be seeing USDC.E. They're actually the same thing. You don't have to bother. So click on it. Click on Max. The bridge information just updated. Click on Approve Token. Give permission. Transaction submitted. Now submit transaction proper. Confirm it. Bridging in progress. Yeah, bridging complete. If you followed carefully, you will notice that I actually bridge to all the networks. Yes, that is also very important. And in the process, I've generated over $2,000 volume, which is actually our target. That doesn't mean you cannot generate more or less, but in my opinion, I think it is best that you generate at least $2,000 or more than $2,000 volume. Finally, before we go, you need to try to use the swapping feature in your MetaMax. Okay, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, here we are. We have the buy feature, the send, which is very popular. Almost everyone using MetaMax must have sent one token or the other out. So this is the most popular feature that is being used by MetaMax users. And the next one, which is also going to be important for this airdrop, is the swap feature click on this let's assume you have some ethereum right now you can actually swap it into any token of your choice which you can select right here this is select the token you can swap the die usdc usdt rack btc rack it and so on and so forth there are so many of them so try to use this feature as well i believe it's going to help increase the number of tokens you receive eventually when the time comes okay guys we have come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching if you like this video please go ahead and like it by smashing the like button and also share this video out there so that others can also take advantage of this opportunity please remember to leave your beautiful comments as always i'm definitely going to see you in my next one and don't forget we are going to make it bye